Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges for another lore video. I do apologize for the sound of my voice. I unfortunately have a bit of a throat infection. It's this time of year. We'll be doing this video in the form of an introduction to magic. So without further ado, let's get started. Magic is a powerful, unpredictable force used by gifted individuals of the Warhammer world. There are many different forms of magic in the Warhammer world, and in this video, we're just going to highlight what they are. And then we will have individual videos going into detail on all the different forms of magic. As it stands, the main source of magic is the winds of magic, which flows from the realms of chaos. Each wind is separated into a different color, which represents a different law. These winds are white, which represents the law of light, yellow, which represents the law of metal, green, which represents the law of life, blue, which represents the law of heavens, gray, which represents shadow, purple, which represents death, red, which represents fire, and brown, which represents beasts. These laws of magic are normally used by the Empire, however other races have been known to use them. There are, however, other forms of magic, such as high magic, which consists of the entire spectrum of magic, dark magic, which represents the primal chaotic source of magic, rune magic, which is used extensively by the dwarves, skaven magic, which consists of two laws, the spells of plague and the spells of ruin, the law of the great moor, which is wielded by the ogres, war magic, which is used by the orcs, Wild magic, which is the law of the wild, ice magic, which is used in Kislev, and divine magic, which is used by living deities. Now, as time progresses, we will be focusing on all these different laws of magic and how they work with their individual races. So I just wanted to do this short video to outline magic as a whole. So thanks for watching, everyone, and soon the lore videos begin.